The big news in the cattle industry this week is the agreement to reopen South Korea to U.S. beef. The two countries announced a new trade protocol April 18th. That protocol will allow boneless and bone-in cuts of beef. Shipments are expected to begin in mid-May. NCBA President Andy Grossetta traveled to Korea in February to see its new president sworn in, and he's one of many cattlemen excited to see U.S. beef back in Korea. It was indeed a pleasure to uh, represent the cattlemen of the United States and the National Cattlemen Beef Association as a member of the U.S. delegation uh, uh, to attend the inauguration of President Lee Ming Bok, uh, the new president of South Korea. And as we all know, this is a very important uh, market to our industry. It's a $1 billion market. When the U.S. last had full access to the Korean beef market in 2003, South Korea was our third largest trading partner.